screen test for derivational relations sort, six, comparative suffixes. Let's first take a look at our words this week, and I'd like you to think about what you notice about these words. When I'm looking through these words, I notice that every word either ends in the letters ER or EST. And more than just letters, though, they're suffixes, ER and EST. Before we look any farther, let's talk about what those suffixes mean. Adding the suffix ER to the end of a word or to a base word makes it uh, compare two things. So, for example, if I have the word earlier that I'm going to use in a sentence, I would say I was earlier than Mrs. Lester to our meeting. So the word earlier compares me, Mrs. Mika, to Mrs. Lester. It's comparing two things. Now, if I use the word early yet, I'm comparing three or more things. I was the earliest out of all the teachers to the meeting. So using the suffix EST compares three or more things. Mrs. Muka, I am one, and all the teachers um, are the rest. So again, e, the suffix ER compares two things. The suffix ex, EST compares three or more things. Now let's take a look at our sort. We're going to start with the headers ER and EST. I'd like you to put both of those up. Now let's take a look through our words and figure out which categories they go in. These two words here go together, earlier and earliest. Early S, I see the suffix EST, so I'm going to put that in this category right here. The word earlier has a suffix ER, and so that's going to go in this column right here. Let's take a look at two more words, kinder and kindest. Kinder has an ER at the end, and so that's going to go in the ER category. And then kindest has an EST at the end, so that's going to go in the EST category. I'd like you to go ahead and pause the screencast and sort all of your words into two columns, ER or EST. And when you do that, I'd like you to put the, the words that have the same base word together. So earlier and earliest are going to be next to each other. Kinder and kindest will be next to each other, etc. Go ahead and pause. Now you should have all of your words sorted as pairs into the categories ER or EST. And we're going to take a closer look at these words. Let's look at the first word at the top of my source, earlier and earliest. What is the base word of earlier and earliest? The base word is early. And how do we spell early? E-A-R-L-Y. Now look at earlier and earliest in your sort. Do we see that base word spelled the same? That's different, isn't it? I don't see a Y in either of those words. In fact, instead of a Y, I see an I. So we're actually going to add two more categories I-E-R, and then I-E-S-T. Because like words like earlier and earliest, the base word changes when you add those endings. We went from a Y to an I, and then added the suffix. Let's look at another set of words. 
kinder and kindest. What is the base word of kinder and kindest? It's kind, and we spell kind, K-I-N-D. Now for kinder, is our base word kind spelled the same? It is, isn't it? What about kindest? K-I-N-D, and then the suffix E-S-T. So that is spelled the same as well. So when you add words to make them comparative words, when you add suffixes to them, sometimes we just add the suffix onto the base word. For example, in the word kind, and that became kinder and kindest. Sometimes when we add a suffix E-R or E-S-T, if there's a Y at the end of our base word, we change that to an I before adding a suffix. For example, in earlier and earliest. Now what I would like you to go to do is go through the rest of your pairs and decide if they are just ER and EST suffixes or if there's a Y that you change at the end of the base word before you add an ER and an EST. Let's do another example. Crummier and crummiest. When we look at that word, is the base word crummy spelled C-R-U-M-M-I? That doesn't look right. It's C-R-U-M-M-Y. So when we write the word crummier and crummiest, when we add the suffix, we have to drop the Y and change it to an I. Go ahead and sort the rest of your words as pairs into the correct category. Now you should have your words sorted into four different categories. The words where the base word does not change the spelling when you add the suffix er and est. And then over here we have the ones where the base word does end in a y and we change that y to an i before we add the ending. So let's take a look at this category first. You should have kinder and kindest, cleaner and cleanest, Harsher and harshest, quieter and quietest, and stranger and strangest. Now the words where the spelling of the base word does change are these. Check to see if you have these. Earlier and earliest, crummier and crummiest, trickier and trickiest, fancier and fanciest, Emptier and emptiest, shinier and shiniest, and murkier and murkiest. Now I'd like you to write your sort in day one in your spelling packet and refer to this screencast as often as needed throughout the next two weeks. 